Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like, subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain-based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you are interested in making a few extra bucks by using the latest technology, use the blockchain-based Secure Brave Browser. Also, if you have not done so yet, please pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community. Both the links to the Brave Browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are below this video. First article of interest for today, Deputy. A law we will send the names of his government ministers to Parliament tomorrow. Independent MP Nada Shakurgat, Sunday, revealed the date of the presentation of the new government booth to vote by the House of Representatives, stressing that the Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafika law we will send the names of his government ministers to Parliament tomorrow. Jadat said in a statement to information that the Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tafik Allah we will send the names of his cabinet to the Parliament tomorrow, Monday, where it will be voted on in a session called by the Council members, members of the Council, next Tuesday. She added that Allah we chose his ministers away from the pressures exerted on him by the political blocs, all of whom are professionals and independents, as stated in his tweet yesterday. Jadad explained. A law we informed the political blocs that he is the first responsible to the political leaders and the people in the failure or success of his government and that if he is satisfied with a specific bloc he must satisfy all the blocs and thus his failure will be confirmed and on this basis the choice was made far from representing any political bloc in his government coming. Next article of interest. Pompeo yells at Abdel Mahdi. You must forget the issue of renewing the exemption from Iranian sanctions. Al Shark Al Asset newspaper revealed, Sunday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo shouted to the outgoing Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi and told him to forget the issue of exclusion from Iranian sanctions in the event of repeated attacks on American headquarters in Iraq. An Iraqi official said in a statement quoted by the newspaper that U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo shouted at the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi during a phone call last month. The official explained he told him to forget the issue of renewing the exception if the attacks continued. She added that, in an additional indication of the decline in relations between Washington and Baghdad, Pompeo did not meet Iraqi Foreign Minister Mohammed al Hakim on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference yesterday and Friday, but he in return met with the Prime Minister of the Kurdistan region, Masrur Barzani, who also met with the U.S. Energy and Defense Ministers. The newspaper continued. The United States is also upset by the Iraqi slowdown in signing contracts with major American companies specialized in the energy sector, with the aim of accelerating the disengagement from Iran in this field. And, weeks before the end of the last exception, a U.S. official reported that the Iraqis, according to the newspaper, have consistently rejected agreements with General Electric and Exxon. And, he considered that Iraqi officials choose to rely on the Iranians, giving Tehran an influential position in their economy and infrastructure. The newspaper emphasized that sources in Baghdad and Washington announced a split in American policy, as the White House appears to support the strategy of increasing pressure on Iraq, while others prefer to adopt flexibility, as the sources said that the Hawks and the U.S. administration have become in dominant positions. While he said an Iraqi official said that these people are now using financial transactions to bully their relationship with Iraqis. And indicated that the Iraqi central bank monthly transfers between $1 billion and $2 billion in cash from his account in the Federal Reserve in New York, where his revenues from oil flow to pay for official and commercial transactions. But the payment that was supposed to arrive in the middle of last month was delayed for two weeks, according to an Iraqi official and a source in the oil sector, noting political reasons behind the White House's decision to delay allowing the money out, the Iraqi official said.
We are walking on the edge of the knife. Next article of interest. Al Rafidane takes part in the financial inclusion meeting and a tribute to the role of localizing employee salaries. Rafidane Bank participated in the coordination meeting held by the Central Bank of Iraq, Mosul branch in the presence of officials and specialists in the financial and banking affairs and electronic payment companies to discuss the joint work plan in preparation for the activities of the Arab Day for financial inclusion. The media office of the bank said in a statement received information, a copy of it that the meeting addressed the steps that will be implemented during participation on the Day of Financial Inclusion, which will be from 25 to 30 slash 2020 to 4 and with the participation of banks in the country and the accompanying this important event of holding conferences, seminars and workshops to enhance the concept of financial inclusion and showcasing the services and products that banks offer their customers. The statement added that the attendees praised the efforts of the Rafa Dane Bank in settling the salaries of state employees and what it provides through the MasterCard credit card, loans and other benefits via the electronic card. Next article of interest. China quarantines its money 14 days to stop the spread of corona. The Central Bank of China announced a decision to cleanse the circulated banknotes by placing them in a stone to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Banks use ultraviolet radiation or very high temperatures to sterilize banknotes before isolating them for a period of 7 to 14 days, said Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of China, Fan Yafei. He added, We must maintain the safety and health of users of cash flow, referring to the suspension of financial transfers between Chinese provinces stressing the possibility of returning the bank notes to circulation after the expiration of the quarantine period, which depends on the severity of the epidemic in the region concerned. These measures come in parallel with the increasing hesitation of the Chinese to use the currency for fear of catching the infection, although most consumers have been using their smartphones to pay for their daily purchases for years. According to the World Health Organization, the virus mainly transmits through the respiratory system by touching infected areas. Now, I found this next article today and wanted to share it with you as it explains why people are so big on XRP, and afterwards you will understand why I keep putting XRP to your attention, as XRP provides the liquidity solution to the banking problem of cross border transactions, not only for the Central Bank of Iraq, but for the world. I believe XRP is the Iraqi dinar of the cryptocurrency space. You remember how they always say that there will never be a way to double dip this investment. I do believe investing in XRP liquidity is the loophole. Bitcoin currently sits at approximately $9,900.00 per coin. At the time I am writing this, XRP sits at $1.30 per coin. After I read the below article, you tell me if you see an opportunity here. Bitcoin versus Ripple, what's the difference? While Bitcoin remains the clear leader among cryptocurrencies in terms of market capitalization and overall adoption rates, other contenders continue to surge ahead thanks to growing adaptability and varied applications. XRP ranks third on the list of top virtual currencies by market cap, behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. XRP is often referred to as Ripple, although technically Ripple is the name of the company and network behind the cryptocurrency, and XRP is the cryptocurrency. Below, we'll take a closer look at what distinguishes XRP from Bitcoin and other top digital tokens. Ripple is the company that is behind XRP, the cryptocurrency itself. Bitcoin transaction confirmations may take many minutes with high transaction costs while XRP transactions are confirmed in seconds with little cost. XRP is a technology that is mainly known for its digital payment network and protocol. Many major banks use the XRP payment system. Bitcoin vs. Zrip Bitcoin operates on a public blockchain ledger that supports a digital currency used to facilitate payments for goods and services. Bitcoin, the network is primarily known for its Bitcoin cryptocurrency, typically referred to as Bitcoin or by the abbreviation BTC. 
The Bitcoin network is based on the blockchain concept, a public ledger of verified transactions and record keeping. Miners verify transactions on an ongoing basis and add them to the Bitcoin blockchain which serves as a ledger of all activity across the network. In exchange for their time and the computing power necessary to validate the ledger in this way, miners are rewarded with BTC upon successfully validating certain quantities of transactions. XRP, on the other hand, is a technology that is mainly known for its digital payment network and protocol. Aside from the cryptocurrency XRP, Ripple is perhaps even better known as a payment settlement, asset exchange, and remittance system that works more like SWIFT, a service for international money and security transfers that is used by a network of banks and financial intermediaries. Transaction Validation Instead of using the blockchain mining concept, the Ripple network uses a unique distributed consensus mechanism through a network of servers to validate transactions. By conducting a poll, the servers or nodes on the network decide by consensus about the validity and authenticity of the transaction. This enables almost instant confirmations without any central authority, which helps to keep XRP decentralized and yet faster and more reliable than many of its competitors. While the Bitcoin network is accused of being energy-hungry due to its mining system, the Ripple system consumes negligible power owing to its mining-free mechanism. Processing Times and Costs While Bitcoin transaction confirmations may take many minutes and may be associated with high transaction costs, XRP transactions are confirmed within seconds at very low costs. BTC has a total supply of 21 million crypto coins, and XRP has a total of 100 billion pre-mined crypto coins. Mining and Circulation Bitcoin uses a proof-of-work system in mining for releasing new BTC tokens, forming an essential part of the validation process, while all of the XRP tokens are pre-mined. For this reason, XRP mining does not exist in the same way that Bitcoin mining does. The crypto coin release mechanism is different for both BTC and XRP. While Bitcoins are released and added to the network as, and when, the miners find them, a smart contract controls the release of XRP. Ripple plan to release a maximum of 1 billion XRP tokens each month is governed by an inbuilt smart contract. The current circulation is over 43 billion. Any unused portion of the XRP in a particular month will be shifted back to an escrow account. This mechanism ensures that there will be no possibility of misuse due to an oversupply of XRP crypto coins, and it will take many years before all the crypto coins will be available. Similar to the Bitcoin transaction processing fee, XRP transactions are charged. Each time a transaction is performed on the Ripple network, a small amount of XRP is charged to the user, individual or organization. The primary use for XRP is to facilitate the transfer of other assets, though a growing number of merchants also accept it for payments in a way similar to accepting Bitcoins. Real-world applications While Bitcoin is seeing increasing use by individuals and organizations as a virtual currency, the Ripple payment system is more popular among banks. Ripple Init is a consortium of more than 200 financial institutions based in more than 40 countries, allowing for the easy facilitation of cross-border payments. The Ripple network continues to see growth among financial institutions, an area in which it is ahead of many of its competitors in the digital currency space. Overall, XRP is better for lower processing times and lower transaction charges than Bitcoin. Bitcoin versus Ripple example to understand both with real-world comparisons, below are some analogies. Peter, living in America, visits Walmart and pays for his purchases in U.S. dollars. He can also use his U.S. dollars to purchase other currencies for trading and investment, like GBP or JPY, and sell them off at a later date for a profit or loss. Bitcoin is an equivalent digital currency in alternative to real-world U.S. dollars. Peter can make a purchase and pay for it in bitcoins, or he can purchase bitcoins for trading and investments and sell them off at a later date for profit or loss, 
just like trading any other fiat currency like the GBP or JPY. If Peter in America wants to send $100 to Paul in Italy, he can do so by instructing his American bank to execute the transaction. After taking necessary charges, Peter's American bank will issue instructions using the present-day SWIFT system that will credit Paul's Italian bank account with the equivalent euros, or USD. This process may involve high charges at both ends and takes a certain number of days for processing. Inter Ripple, the payment and settlement system that also has a currency, the XRP. Ripple's payment system uses XRP tokens for the transfer of assets on the Ripple network. The same $100 can be converted instantly by Peter to equivalent XRP tokens, which can be instantly transferred to Paul's account over the Ripple network. Upon suitable verification and authentication of the transaction by the decentralized Ripple network, Paul will receive the XRP tokens. He will have the option to convert it back to us or any other currency of his choice, or even retain it as XRP tokens. The verification process is faster than those of Bitcoin and traditional money transfer systems. The bottom line, while Ripple works in a bit more complicated way, the above example explains its basic workings. The Ripple system scores better than the Bitcoin network for its lower processing times and lower transaction charges. On the other hand, BTC is generally more widespread and better known than XRP, giving it the advantage in other ways. Bitcoin remains a truly public system that is not owned by any single individual, authority, or government. The Ripple network, although decentralized, is owned and operated by a private company with the same name. Despite both having their unique cryptocurrency tokens, the two popular virtual systems cater to different uses. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog. Also check out my Facebook or Twitter for all of today's articles of interest as I post them on those platforms as well. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded currency exchange planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful, over and out, for now, the Denarian.